guys welcome back to my channel so today the video is going to be a full coverage foundation video it's going to be how you can cover any redness acne scarring acne if basically if you have any problematic skin this is going to be the video for you I suffer with problematic skin I suffer with hormonal acne I have scarring because of the hormonal acne I have redness and since I'm such lighter skinned that it shows up more prominent on my face. I'm excited to do this video because I haven't really done a full coverage foundation routine kind of video I don't think ever on my channel and this is pretty much what I do when I want a very full coverage long lasting foundation look. So yeah if you guys want to see how I get a very full coverage look then just keep on watching. I've already done my eyes just because this is going to be strictly on my foundation. It's not going to be on anything else. So I went ahead and just quickly, when I do more of like a full coverage kind of look, I like to go a little bit more on the matte side. Not extremely matte, but I tend to use more of a fuller coverage foundation that's going to be kind of like a demi matte matte finish because that's what lasts the longest on me. So to first start off, I went ahead and used some of my Estee Lauder New Dimension Shape and Fill Serum. I love to use this stuff right after I wash my face before I go on with anything. I will go ahead and use this, mainly keeping it in my T-zone area and where my pores are because it's a Shape and Fill Serum. So it's going to kind of just firm my face and fill in any of those pores and kind of just give me a smooth canvas to work with. I sprayed some, of course, my MAC Charge Water. This is just like a kiss of hydration, just a little bit of extra oomph. So I really love this stuff. I do this on a daily basis and to prime I actually am trying out the Smashbox photo finish primer I got this part of my uh, boxycharm box and I wanted to try it out just because I've seen really great things about this but I've never used it myself this is actually a sample size you would receive at Sephora for $15 part of the boxycharm box I only pay $21 a month and this alone is 15 so and you get I believe it's five full-size products either four or five full-size products so it's definitely definitely worth it check out bossy charm if you have it it's a really great subscription um and then to just prime again i put some of my uh, smashbox primer water which is my holy grail priming spray love 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 this um, and then to go ahead and cover up some of the redness that i have going on i'm going to use some of the makeup forever base corrector for redness it's just a correcting primer i don't really use correcting concealers just because I don't know I don't really like the way they feel on my face and I feel like when I go on top with the foundation you can kind of like see it I don't know I'm weird like that I don't prefer correcting concealers I prefer correcting primers so I'm gonna go ahead and just really focus this wherever I get red which is pretty much all where I have like my scarring I get red there and then like in my cheek area like right here So a little bit about this Makeup Forever primer. I actually really do like it. It's one of my favorite correcting primers. And I've tried this and the Stila one. I feel like they actually do work. If you can kind of see the greenness in my face, it's kind of already helped cancel out the redness. It's not going to be like an extreme cover up. Like it's not going to take away that redness and just be all green. Which is fine with me because I don't like that anyways. I prefer a more subtle kind of tint. That's when I put on my foundation. That it'll kind of just cancel out all of that. This glitter, though, was driving me crazy. Literally driving me insane. I used one of the Stila Magnificent Metal, like, glitter things. And it literally, the fallout is intense. Like, I think it's still falling out from my eyes. So, whatever. I'm gonna have to deal with that. So, now I'm gonna go on my foundation. I'm going to be using two foundations today. I'm gonna be using the Laura Geller Cover La Cream Foundation. This is a very full coverage foundation. I tried this out a couple times and it's super, super full coverage. And you do need a little. A little goes a very long way with this foundation. And the coverage is actually really, really nice. I really like it. And then I have the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation by Benefit. I love this as like an everyday kind of foundation. I love to use this to mix in with my other foundations as well. I usually mix the Cover FX foundation with this one because it just gives me like a demi kind of matte but still glowy kind of finish. So since this is such a full coverage, more mattifying finish, I like to mix or I want to mix the two because this is the first time mixing it just to kind of see what kind of finish it gives me. And then I feel like too this is a little bit too orangey for me, like if you can see that on camera, it doesn't look as orange, but in person it does look a little bit warm. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these just a little. So I just put like about a half a pump on both. 
I'm actually going to go in with a brush first to kind of apply it and then I'll go ahead and smooth it out with a sponge with this. And I kind of just paint it literally on my face. So I do this only when I want a very super full coverage. Like I don't want any redness peeking through. It's so I'm going to do half my face just so you guys can see the difference. So now I'm going to go ahead and just blend that out with my Damp Beauty sponge. Left. This is such a full coverage foundation. Like you can already see it how full coverage it is. It does kind of dry a little bit on the quicker side. So that is why I also uh, did half my face first because I don't want it too dry to where I can't blend it out super easily. It's definitely one of those foundations where you look like you're wearing foundation. Like it's not gonna look cakey, but it's not gonna look like you're not wearing foundation. Like this is no, by no means a very natural look at all. So there's one side, this is what it looks like. It will blend in and look like my neck and every, all the part of my body once I finish the rest of my makeup. When it does go on, it does kind of look like a lighter kind of finish. And then this is what my face looks like without the foundation. So it's very full coverage as you can see. So the reason why I like to apply with a brush first and not just go in with my um, sponge is because this also is going to help giving me the most full coverage. Because it's not going to really soak up. The brush isn't going to soak up a, a product and kind of just take away from the full coverage. That is why I like to go ahead and do this first. And then I'll just go in with my sponge and just kind of flatten it out and blend it all together. So I know it looks scary. I feel like in the camera, I look extremely, extremely, like my face is a lot yellow than everything else. But I promise you, it will come together after everything is done. The first thing I like to do is I like to kind of prep my under eyes. So I will go ahead and I will use this hard candy instant eye treatment. I use this like in all my videos, but I love to use this to just prep my under eye, especially in the last couple days. I feel like I haven't been sleeping that well and I've been getting up super early. Not super, but what's super early for me. I feel like I've actually been having bags, which I normally don't have. What's great about this is it has this really cool, like, nice metal applicator. So when you put it on, it really feels cooling, which helps with the whole IT puffing and hydrating and all that. So really, really love it. And this is not going to give you any coverage at all. It's literally just going to be like a treatment. It's kind of almost like a primer, I want to say. It's just going to prime underneath your eyes kind of prep you for your concealer. Okay, so for concealer, I'm gonna be using the Naked Skin Concealer. This is gonna be a uh, more medium to buildable full coverage concealer, but I definitely, okay, I just dropped that. Yeah, I like to use this when, well, I actually just bought this, so that's one reason why I'm using it, but I don't, like I said, have an extreme like issues with underneath my eye. So just use whatever you feel like using for concealer, whether it's like the sheerest concealer or the most coverage full coverage concealer, but since I don't really have a lot of issues and I'm not trying to go for a super glamorous look with an intense highlight, I'm going to be doing this. This is still going to give me a nice coverage, but like compared to example, my Tarte Shape Tape or my un Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics, this is definitely about a step, a step and a half down from that. And this blends really, really nicely. It's super easy. I would definitely probably even wear this foundation like on an everyday basis if I wanted to because I love a more kind of fuller coverage concealer look. I'm not really like a sheer kind of person. It's either I wear a whole full face of makeup or I wear nothing. I'm not really an in-between person. Like, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer. I'm going to be using my famous Chanel bronzer. It's my cream based bronzer. I use this every single day. So I'm not going to try to sit here and act like, okay, I'm just going to do this, you know, no, because this is like my real routine and this is what I would do on an everyday basis. So I just go ahead and take my Kat Von D angled brush and I just dip it into my, my bronzer and I literally start tracing out where I want the product. I love this bronzer. I tell you guys all the time, I just recently bought a new one and I'm still working on my old one because I could not bear to think 
about running out of this and then not having a backup. I had and set my under eyes and I always, always, always use my Cody Air Spun Setting Powder. It's my favorite, favorite holy grail setting powder of life. Creasing. And this is my favorite setting powder because it just gives me such a very natural porcelain-like finish. And it really just helps set that concealer and then I just love the smell of it too. And I like to set this wherever I put my concealer because help get that concealer to stay in place all day long. To set to wherever I have like blemishes just because I don't want anything to be slipping and sliding all day. To set my face, I am going to be using MAC Mineralize Finish skin finish powder. This is literally what I do to get a very full face just because this gives me such a nice natural finish. And I actually go in with two types of face powder. So I'll go in with this to kind of just set all my face in. And then to give me more of like a silkier, softer look, I'll use my Laura Mercier Candle Glow. This is a sheer perfecting powder. This is seriously like so subtle. If you have great skin and you just go in with like a very sheer foundation and you want to just set your face, use this because there's literally, if I were to swatch it, there's literally nothing comes off on my hand. Like you can barely, barely see it and that's what it looks like on your skin so this just gives such a beautiful finish like seriously like this like it looks airbrushed like it's so pretty i love this powder i'm hoping they have it at fame because i'm definitely going to stock up on it i just give me such a subtle glow and it still gives me coverage so putting on that mineralized skin finish powder and then going on top of that with the candlelight i feel like it really gives me a good coverage i'm gonna go in with my mark jacobs bronzer i haven't really been using this guy lately i've kind of been neglecting him though i think i just used him in my last video but who cares i'm gonna just work with him he's so pretty so pretty like look at that And just because I'm using all like these higher end products, do not feel like you need to buy these products to get the look I'm getting. You could totally do these with drugstore products as well. Maybe I should do like a full face coverage with just drugstore products because I have a lot of drugstore products and more affordable products that I love just as much as my high end. But I just prefer these products because I bought them and I want to use them. I don't want them to just sit there and go to waste. So that is why I'm using these. I just prefer them, but there are definitely products out there that are just as great that are drugstore, definitely more affordable. So after I go ahead and do that, I'm going to do some blush. One thing, I haven't found a higher end blush. I always use drugstore blushes and my favorite all time drugstore blush is the Milani Romantic Rose. I think this is everyone's favorite drugstore blush. This and the Morphe 9N palette as well, but I'm going to go ahead and use this today just because he's right here. Head and finish the bottom of my eyes really quick and I will be right now. So I'm super excited because I'm actually going to be using a new product today that I just bought yesterday because I have been eyeing it for about a couple weeks now and I wish I would have bought it when it first launched but I didn't even think about it because I was like you know what Julianne you just bought so many highlighting palettes within the last couple of months you really don't need another highlighting palette but my heart got the best of me and I actually ended up getting it. So this is the NARS highlighting palette. It's their newest palette they just launched. This is what it looks like. I am a sucker for packaging, you guys. So a really big reason to why I purchased this is because of the packaging. I love NARS packaging. I love this specific color because it's just such a bronzy looking packaging. Like I just love the color. It's anything but bronze, but it really does give me like that kind of glow vibe. So that is why I picked it up. This is what it looks like oh my goodness so so beautiful I think it's so beautiful I don't even want to use it because that's how beautiful it is but I'm going to because I bought it for a reason so I think I'm gonna layer I think I'm gonna start with this middle one right here which is a really pretty like true champagne color and then mix it with like this really frosted kind of color just because I feel like this would be a really great combination um I don't yes okay so they do have names yes this is what they look like I love the packaging I think it's 
so so cute so convenient definitely a great travel highlighting kit so i'm gonna go ahead and just apply this it does retail for 50 dollars. i think is how much i paid for it i picked up this brush from morphe and i love it because it's so pretty and it's gold so i'm gonna use that i'm actually gonna spray some charge water for a more intense highlight because we all like that intense highlight i feel like this is really subtle oh yeah this is super subtle you guys like it's not as intense i'm gonna really dig my brush in there now I feel like it's not as intense as I thought it was going to be, which is fine with me. I don't really care as long as it kind of shows and I'm wearing a highlight. This is so pretty, though. Like, look at that. This is so pretty. I actually like this highlight because it's super, like, you could see it, but it's very subtle. Like, it almost looks like one with the skin. So if you don't apply any type of Fix Plus or any type of moisture to your brush it will just give you a more kind of very super subtle highlight so this is what it looks like without any type of spray and then this is what it looks like with it so it just kind of gives you more of like that wet look which i actually really like i barely jumped on the bandwagon with the whole highlighting craze that's going on now it's like the whole holographic kind of highlighting going on but I'll probably jump on that bandwagon pretty soon because I'm actually digging a lot of the pink highlights. Just literally highlighting everywhere I would normally highlight. To go ahead and finish this look off, I'm going to be using my Make It Last spray. It's a setting spray by Bellani. I love this setting spray. I honestly think this makes my makeup look so good. I actually like using it more than my MAC Charge Water and that says a lot because that is like my holy grail setting spray. This just gives me like hydration but it still keeps me matte but it still looks like I'm alive. Like it's not completely matte but it's so complimenting. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I love the spray too of it. I feel like the spray is really nice. Like it spritz really well. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a very subtle uh gloss and uh but yeah so that's the finished look you guys i hope you enjoyed doing this full foundation coverage kind of look if i really want a very full coverage kind of more flawless look i will definitely do the whole color correcting and then i will do all the steps that i showed you so yeah if you guys have any questions please leave them down below if you guys have any great suggestions for full coverage foundations for primers for powders anything like that please leave them down below i'm always up for suggestions and trying out new products right so yeah so that's the finished look you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and until next time i will talk to you soon bye